Hi everybody, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. It's Shelby and Kelsey here. We're the dietitians here at the Health Park. And today we're gonna bring you a great idea, a saltless spice blend. So in the new year, a lot of times we're trying to eat a little bit healthier, improve our health, and going low sodium or having less sodium in your diet is really helpful. It can help your heart, it can help lower blood pressure. So this is a great idea to find a way to replace salt in your diet when you're cooking. So Kelsey, why don't you show us this saltless spice blend? Great, so well, you can see here that all of our spices are laid out, so we've already measured everything. So all that we're gonna do is just combine them together. So the first thing that I have here is gonna be our onion powder. So there's just five teaspoons of this. So onion powder is gonna be a really kind of bold flavor. It's gonna add a lot of taste to this spice blend. Um, another one that's gonna add a lot of taste is gonna be our garlic powder. So there's just two and a half teaspoons of that. So we're gonna add that in there. So these are kind of the biggest flavors in our spice blend. Next is gonna be our paprika. So you can see that it's kind of that red, orange, really rich color. You might think, oh, that's gonna be really spicy, but paprika actually is a very mild taste, not gonna be spicy at all, like cayenne pepper or something like that. The next thing is gonna be our dry mustard. You actually might find it at the grocery called ground mustard too. So if you can't find the dry, you can also use ground mustard. So there's just gonna be two and a half teaspoons of this. Put that in there. And then next is gonna be our thyme leaves. So there's just gonna be one and one fourth teaspoon of those. I'm gonna add those. And then our last two ingredients is gonna be our ground pepper. So just half of a teaspoon of that. And then some celery seeds, just a fourth of a teaspoon of that. So we're gonna add all those in there. You can see it's filled up our shaker about halfway. So we're just gonna screw the top on there, kind of give it a nice shake. And I'll pour a little bit out on my hand so you can kind of see what the end result is. So this spice blend is really good for any kind of dish that you want. Um, it's specifically good for those main dishes, vegetables, soups, or salads, anything, anything like that that you're just wanting a little bit of extra flavor. So you can see that's kind of what the consistency is. And so also this is gonna be good if you're trying to, like Shelby said, lower the sodium in your diet. There's only like one to two teaspoons or one to two milligrams of sodium in this recipe. And also it's gonna be good if you're trying to follow a heart healthy diet, if you're trying to lower your blood pressure. So this is just a great way to, you know, get rid of some of that excess sodium in your diet. And I definitely feel like, and Kelsey, you probably agree, it can be hard to come up with different combinations of spices, especially if you're new to cooking or you're, if you're new to going low sodium. Mm -hmm. So this is nice because it combines so many different flavors. You don't miss the salt at the end. And just right. for your reference, really for the general healthy person, about 2,300 or less milligrams of sodium per day is recommended. So you're getting so few from here, it's really helpful and an easy way to get a lot less by not adding salt to your food. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you try our spice blend. If you do, let us know how it tastes. And always, we wanna remind you that we're doing Life Steps this year. We've got Life Steps, our weight management program coming up. Our first info session is tonight at 5.30 here at the Health Park. So even if you haven't been able to register, we do have some open slots, so feel free to stop in. We're doing another one next Wednesday as well. And our class, instead of starting on the 14th of February, has been pushed back to the 21st, so all of the lovebirds can go out on, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to visit our website at owensborohealth.org nutrition.